All right, it's 403. I'll call the City Plan Commission meeting to order. I'll call the roll. Um, Alder Mitchell. Here. Brayden? Here. Jerry? Here. Marilyn? Here. Aaron? Here. All right, anyone online? Okay, sounds good. If folks could stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you. Is there a motion to approve the minutes from our last meeting? Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion on the minutes. Seeing none. All those in favor, state aye. Aye. Any objection? Chair votes aye. Minutes are approved. All right, we have a few public hearings. We'll start with hearing number five, public hearing regarding application for conditional use permit with exceptions by Joseph Schmidt Construction to renovate the Bitter Newman Warehouse and Loading Dock located at 827 North 14th Street. Anyone wishing to be heard on this one? Anyone from the public? All right. We'll jump to the next public hearing, item six, public hearing regarding application for conditional use with exceptions by SACOAEI to install new uh, freestanding chemical storage container at 3220 Crocker Avenue. Anyone wishing to be heard from the public on this item? Anyone from the public on this item? All right, hearing number seven, public hearing regarding the general development plan for Van Horn Properties of Sheboygan LLC to construct a new Van Horn Kia facility located at the aforementioned parcel numbers. Anyone wishing to be heard on this item from the public? Anyone wishing to be heard? All right. Item number eight for public hearing, hearing regarding general development plan by Epicus Architects to construct a new addition to Sheboygan Christian School located at 929 Greenfield Avenue at the aforementioned parcel numbers. Anyone from the public wishing to be heard on this item? All right, no worries. Perfect. Anyone else from the public on this one? All right. Anyone wishing to be heard on any of the mentioned public hearings? Anyone wishing to be heard? Anyone wishing to be heard? Final call. Anyone wishing to be heard? Seeing none, is there a motion to close the public hearings? So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Any objection? Chair votes aye. Public hearings are closed. All right, application for conditional use permit with exceptions by Joe Schmidt Construction to renovate the Bitter Newman Warehouse and Loading Dock loca located at 829 North 14th Street. Elise, staff report. Bitter Newman is proposing the demolition of approximately 11,000 square feet of the warehouse and loading dock space located at the northeast corner of the property. A new um, 2,800 square foot structure will be erected to resolve roof issues of the interior connector building and create three new loading docks to accommodate semi-trailer parking and a compactor on site. Thank you. Um, applicants, any comments? No? Okay. Questions from commission members at all? Motions from commission members. Make a motion to approve subject to what we did. Second. Moved and seconded. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, state aye. Aye. Any objections? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Thank you. Item 10, application for conditional use with exceptions by SACOAEI to install a new freestanding chemical storage container at 3220 Crocker Avenue. Elise, staff report. The SACO AEI polymers plant one manufactures plastic compounds for use in other manufacturing industries as part of the manufacturing process. SACO AEI polymers utilizes chemicals that are categorized as flammable liquids. Based on the hazard classification of these flammable liquids, only small quantities are allowed to be stored inside of the production facility. Um, therefore, SACO Polymer is proposing to purchase a freestanding chemical storage container. The chemical storage container will be located in the green space to the north of plant number one. All right. Is the applicant here? Any, any comments? No? Nope. Questions from commission members? Braden? Just a clarification on the, the staff comment here. So it, it says that there is a 10 foot separation required between the International Building Code, the application, applicants proposing that, you know, meet that code. It just is a variation on what we require in our own zoning code. Am I interpreting that correctly? Correct. Our code is slightly different than building. Correct. Code. Yep. All right. That's it. Okay. Other questions from commission members? Okay. Uh, motions from commission members. Sounds like a good idea to do that. I make a motion. All right. 
Second. Moved and second. Any final comments? Seeing none, all those in favor, state aye. 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 Any objections? Chair votes aye. That's approved. All right. Item 11, general development plan for Van Horn properties of Sheboygan to construct a new Van Horn Kia facility. Elise? So we had a previously recommended on the general development plan and the specific implementation plan for the Van Horn development. Um, they have made a little change in their plan, so they are now um, adding a second dumpster enclosure uh, to about the west side of the proposed garage for the storage of scrap material. The operations of Van Horn relating to the scrap enclosure pertain to any materials or equipment discarded from a vehicle maintenance perspective. This will be used for waste generated via vehicle maintenance, not allowed to go into the municipal trash. No vehicles will be scrapped for parts or discarded at the site relating to a junkyard or salvage yard facility. Does the applicant have anything else to add? Nope. Questions from commission members? Move a motion to approve subject for presentation. Moved and seconded. Final thoughts? Seeing none, all those in favor, state aye. Aye. Any objections? Chair votes aye. That's approved. All right. Item 12, specific implementation plan by Van Horn Properties of Sheboygan LLC to construct a new Van Horn Kia facility. Elise? Their uh, general development plan and specific implementation plan are the same, so it's the same. Just looking to add that uh, storage enclosure for their um, scrap waste. Anything else? Motions? Questions? Make a motion to approve. Second. Moved and seconded. Final thoughts? Seeing none, all those in favor, state aye. 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 Any objections? Chair votes aye. That's approved. Item 13, direct referral general ordinance number 43-23-24 by Elder Person Mitchell, amending the city of Sheboygan official zoning map of the official zoning code ordinance to change the use district classification for property located around 929 Greenfield Avenue to include parcel number 5928132161. 5928132762 and 5928132763 from class suburban residential to class suburban residential with the PUD overlay classification. Elise? So Sheboygan Christian School is um, looking at doing a PUD, hence the, the rezone. Um, they're doing some expansion in the coming years and we have a general development plan for them for their future expansions and then a specific implementation plan for the expansions they're looking to do right now. Um, so we need this rezone in order to go through with their PUD for their expansion. Okay. Does the applicant have any additional comments? All right. Questions from commissioners? Motions from commissioners? Second. Moved and seconded. Final thoughts? Seeing none, all those in favor, state aye. aye. Any objections? Chair votes aye. That is approved. All right. Next, we got direct referral resolution number 1332324 by city clerk submitting an application from Jacob uh, Norbeter, Norberter, if I'm saying that right, <laughs> amendment from the city of Sheboygan official zoning map of the Sheboygan zoning ordinance for the property located at 929 Greenfield Avenue, including parcels number. 5928132176159281321762 5928132176 and 5928132173 from class suburban residential to class suburban residential with a PUD overlay classification. We're looking at the same um, project as our last item, just Sheboygan Christian School looking to do their expansion, so we need this rezone. Cool. Anything else? Motions, questions? All right. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Chair votes aye. That's approved. Next, general development plan by Abacus Architects to construct a new addition to Sheboygan Christian School located at 929 Greenfield Avenue. Elise? Sheboygan Christian School is proposing to add a total of about 103,000 square feet of new building additions 
to the existing Sheboygan Christian High School over multiple phases to bring a K through eighth grade students into the same building as the high school students and to add an auditorium and new gym. This is the, the long-term plan and not what they are looking at to do this minute. Um, but this is their general development plan. So in the future, when we review these projects, we should be able to look at just their specific implementation plan for that specific phase. Anything else to add? Yeah. <laughs> Questions from commissioners? Move to approve. Second. Yeah. Moved and seconded. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Any objections? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Next is the specific implementation plan by Abacus Architects to construct a new addition to Sheboygan Christian School located at 929 Greenfield Avenue. Elise? This, this phase of their um, addition will add multiple classrooms, men and women's locker rooms, a kitchen, storage rooms, with alternate bids for building extension and a small greenhouse. All right. Anything else? All right. Questions from commission members? Motions from commission members. I'll make that motion. I think we should put the third leg under the school, yeah. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, second under discussion. Jerry? Yeah. Just want to make sure for the neighbor who's here, can we put the plan up on the screen just so they can see what we're talking about? He sure oh, can. she left. Oh. oh. <laughs> et tu, Brutus? <laughs> Never mind. Do you want to see it, Jerry? <laughs> no, it? I have okay. seen it already. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, perfect. Sorry, I didn't see earlier. <laughs> awesome, thank you. All right, this has been moved and seconded. Seeing no more discussion. All those in favor of approval, state aye. Aye. All right, chair sure votes aye, that is approved. Thanks everybody, talkative bunch this afternoon. Um, next meeting, April 23rd. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. All those in favor, state aye. 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 All right, we're adjourned at 4.14, thanks everybody.